Hello guys, welcome back to Tech Projects. I am back with another video. So, so in this video, we are going to see how to add fingerprint authentication in your app. So you can add fingerprint authentication if you have a fingerprint sensor or you can use pattern. So in this video, I am going to completely explain this topic, how these things work in Android. So before starting this video, first let's see a demo of this application. So for this, I open my phone and this is the application name fingerprint. So when I open my phone, it say to use your fingerprint to log in. So let us suppose if I mm, use different finger which is not added in my phone so that's why you can see it is showing this kind of thing so now let's if I use right finger so you can see now login get success and I am on main screen and the content is visible now so I want to show one more feature of this application I close this I again open this so let us suppose if my phone does not have fingerprint I have option of use pattern so if I click on this you can see use your device pattern to continue so I use my pattern and now login get success so in this video we are going to implement this how to implement these things in Android and then I will show you after get successful login how to show the content of your app otherwise the content will be disabled so don't further delay now let's start the video and see how to do this so if you don't like the video till now then please like the video please subscribe the channel please share the channel so now let's start the video so first of all what you have to do open your Android studio and go to file then you have to click on new then you have to click on new project and then you have to select empty activity click on next and from here you have to give any name to your application so i am giving fingerprint or tutorial and you can use any language java or kotlin it is your choice and then you have to click on finish so now the project is creating and it may take some time here to build so let's wait so now the project is built successful and we are ready to write the code so first of all open your activity main xml file and here i am not going to design any kind of layout and i am simply increasing the text size so i think text size 50 sp is fine to make it little bit visible that's it and you have to give any id to your main layout so i am giving the id main layout you can give any id it is your choice now after this what you have to do we have to add a dependency for using fingerprint authentication and it is provided by the android so you can take the dependency from android official website or you can directly type it with me so i press enter and now i am copying the dependency from my previous project so i open this and this is the dependency so i simply copy this Control c copy and paste the dependency here that's it and this is the dependency implementation android x biometric colon biometric colon 1.0.1 so it is currently in a, so it is the latest version and now click on sync now and it will add this dependency and now close this and we are ready to write the code so for taking the authentication of biometric we need two things first of all we need to a dialogue which will show where we can show mention the detail of my name and use your fingerprint to log in and these kind of thing which is known as biometric prompt and another thing we have to take the instance whether our phone have a biometric sensors or not let us suppose my phone doesn't have a fingerprint sensor then we have to also handle these kind of exception also all of these things so let's start writing the code so first of all we have to declare two main variable here which i can access from anywhere because i want to show the app content after the login gets success so that's why i am making it globally so I am simply typing here biometric after adding the dependency it will going to show this kind of thing biometric and first variable is prompt and one more thing I want to say you have to use this one android dot android x dot biometric in this one and now you can give any variable am I giving this biometric prompt that's it then the second is biometric prompt dot prompt info we will set the info on this using this variable that's it and now the last thing i want to give the id for our constraint layout so i am giving the variable name main layout so i can access the xml id into a java id so now i have to type here m main layout equal find by id r dot id dot main layout that's it and now come inside your activity main xml file click here and simply set the visibility gone so after get the login success we will set the visibility of our app visible so now come inside your main activity 
so from here we can start writing the main code which is the so first of all we have to check whether our whether our phone have a biometric sensor or not so for this we have to use biometric manager so biometric manager this one android x biometric and give any variable am i giving biometric manager then equal so first of all we have to take the instance so you have to simply type here biometric manager dot from and pass this this is your context then after getting the context we can use the switch conditions here we because we have multiple conditions let us suppose our phone have a fingerprint but it doesn't work our phone doesn't have a fingerprint our phone have a fingerprint but we don't assign any kind of lock on our phone so we have a multiple condition and the last one our phone have a fingerprint it is working and it also have contained fingerprint so i can use it so these kind of things so i am i have to use here biometric manager dot can authenticate this is the boolean method and inside this i have a multiple cases so case one so first case is biometric success and i don't need to write any kind of case for biometric success because if everything is fine then we can use our application so we don't need to mention that case here but we can use another condition which can cause the exception so biometric manager dot biometric error no hardware you can see we have a four methods no none enrolled no hardware success hardware unable so first thing is no hardware you can type this in any order it is your choice and after this you can show the toast to user toast dot make text get application context and device doesn't have fingerprint you can type anything whatever you want then toast dot lens shot and after this dot show now i am copying this toast because i have to use this toast again and again for multiple condition control c and after this what i can use here i have to break this now the second case case and another case is biometric manager dot hardware unavailable hardware is present but it is not working or due to some another error so we can directly display a toast not working or anything else whatever you want to display not working now the third case is hardware is present but no fingerprint is enrolled so biometric manager biometric error none enrolled so i can display a toast again and remove the extra space from here so no fingerprint assigned you can type whatever you want no fingerprint assigned so if no fingerprint assigned you can directly send to the user to main activity or you can use the pattern so it is your choice whatever you want to use and after this now this work is finished now after this what we have to use for executing these all things we need to use an executor so executor this one java dot util dot concurrent it is a java method executor then context form pet this one context form pet dot get main executor and inside this we have to pass the context of our application now we need to prompt the dialog of our biometric so for this we have to use here biometric prompt I already declared the variable so I can directly access this biometric prompt equal new biometric prompt then inside this where we have to pass some things first thing is our context main activity dot this second thing but our executor and the last thing our biometric prompt new biometric prompt dot authentication callback so it contain three method on authentication error on authentication succeed and on authentication field so I click on it and press ok so you can write the code according to your if authentication gets success you want to do something and if authentication get failed you want to do some different thing it is your choice whatever you want to so so i am simply typing here on authentication success so i am giving a message here login success so login success you can do whatever you want and after this i want to show the layout of our main layout visibility so m main layout dot set visibility visible that's it and add a semicolon here so everything is done but till now we don't write the code how to execute how to show this prompt so for this we have to use some different thing here so we have to type here prompt info 
I already cleared this variable new biometric prompt dot prompt info prompt info dot builder then dot set title you can set any title it is your choice I am setting the tech projects you can set your app name it is your choice whatever you want to do then it is your choice whether you want to set the description or not dot set description and inside this I am typing any message here use fingerprint to login you can do whatever you want then we have a if we want to set go show the option of to user to use the pattern so we have to set this set device credential allowed and inside this you have to pass true so it will also show the option of pattern if device doesn't have a fingerprint and then dot build and then semicolon that's it now we have to simply show this prompt info so we have to type here biometric prompt and dot authenticate and inside this we can we have to pass this prompt info that's it so our program is ready now let's check our app whether the app is working or not and if it is working fine then we will end this video if there is some error present then we will solve that error then we will end this video so i connect my phone and i press on run button and gradle start building so gradle will successful so it will going to install application inside our phone so now application installed successfully so it is saying use fingerprint to login so let us suppose if i use wrong finger not recognize and if i use correct finger login success and the layout visibility is fine so let's check it again our application for pattern also so if i click on use pattern i am using my pattern and you can see login get success so our application is working fine so i hope guys you like this video and you learn something new in this video if you have any question if you have any query just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please like the video please subscribe the channel please share the channel if you have any question just comment down below i will try to give the answer of every comment please leave some suggestion on which topic you want videos so thank you see you soon in next amazing video